How are we doing everyone? Sam here on the set of Social Club. As you can see, I'm with Mr. Paul Machen and James Orcott from Ball Street. And I'm here today to talk about Paul Pogba. Now, last year, 89 million, he cost Manchester United. Everybody pointed the finger, everybody laughed. Look how much we are paid for a player that we let go for free <laughs> only a few years earlier. <laughs> from a business perspective, you ain't yeah, this. No, yeah, from a business perspective, it wasn't the best decision. But then at last year, Jose Mourinho said, look, in a couple of years' time, you're going to say that Paul Pogba was cheap. Lo and behold, Kylian Mbappe has got an obligation in his cause. It's like 186 million that PSG are going to play next year. They bought 220 million euros they paid for Neymar. Is that much money? Coutinho was, what, 118 million they Liverpool turned down for Coutinho. He's not even the best player at Liverpool. Yeah. Paul Pogba for 89 million was a bargain. That is my argument. <laughs> Do you agree or disagree? Or can, oh, you, right. can, you, can you see the point in Jose Mourinho's argument? I think he's got to be delighted with that comment way back when. Because you, you don't truly know, do you? Yeah. Uh, you don't know it's going to skyrocket do. like that. So he's got to be There's buzzing. no way he's predicted PSG paying Neymar's buyout clause is what you're effectively saying. That's right, yeah. I know it, it's fine, isn't it? It's wonderful to say with the benefits of hindsight. £90 million pound is still a lot of money, isn't it? You know. I mean, last year, Pogba got a lot of stick because he wasn't getting a goal and an assist every single game. From a fan's perspective, he was watching him every single week. You could see what he was doing. And it's, a sort, it's the same as Michael Carrick. You never really appreciate him unless you were a United fan and you watched him every week. But Popper this season, he scored and assisted most clubs are, most, For most clubs, that's like Lucas Leiva for us. It's meant to be someone who's not... You're meant to have... You're meant, you should, truly top quality players, though, I think transcend... The, 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 their appreciation transcends the football club, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think, do you know I think us as, as English football fans watching the Premier League, we know him... We understand what he brings now a bit better. Instead of he was the guy at Juventus who was was dominating and he was scoring goals. Whereas he came here and yeah, he hit the wood. He hit the woodwork nine times or something last last year. It was year. something ridiculous. Um, it was something ridiculous. And he didn't score enough goals, um, but you could see that he was still playing well. Certainly as the season grew on, what's working for him at this moment in time when we're talking about it is three games in he scored two goals. He's he's looking great I'm, against I'm, mediocre opposition. Well, well, come on, you had to throw in a you had to throw in a little disclaimer then. <laughs> but it, it is though, isn't place. it? I think I reckon he, I I fully expect him to, and that's the other thing about him is he's, he is a unique, he's a unique player in terms of what he brings. I was trying to think of is is there another midfielder like him in the Premier League? Not really. He's look, he's one of them. He's so good at football. He's so good. He's got everything. There's nothing he can't do on a football pitch, pretty much. You know, he's got great touch. He's, he's pacey. He's athletic. He's strong. He's tall. Mm. You know, he's got a great range of passing. He's got a, a thunderbolt of a shot on him. Great. And and I've got. I've said this on other shows. I, I, I've got him down to be player of the year this year. I don't know whoever, whomever that whatever category that will fall under, whether it's you know writers or players or whatever. I yeah. think he'll definitely pick up a, the big one this year because really? I think he will have a great season. I think he's primed for it. I think a year to adjust back to the pace of the Premier League. People say we played there before, but Italy does that to you. You know, you, you, it does take you a while to get back up to what's expected of you, and he's got the talent and the, the pressures off, and maybe the fact that, that again. I think it probably takes the pressure off with, with your fans. I don't think it necessarily does it. I think he'll have to have an amazing season for the rest of football to go, OK, yeah, fair enough, 90 million makes sense. But I think, if, if nothing else, it gives you something like... It gives you a thread there. It gives you a narrative to say, well, look, he's, you know, comparatively speaking, he's not, too, he's not too expensive. And that might be one he actually needs. Because if you guys aren't muttering to yourselves in the stands about, well, 90 million for that when he yeah. puts one over the bar, that might make his life like, a bit easier. To be fair, there wasn't... Even last year, there wasn't any pressure from a United fan on Pogba simply because of his price tag. It was more the fact that we knew how good he was at Juventus and we wanted to see that. But mm. people say he didn't score enough last season. I think he either matched or bettered his best goal return for Juventus last season. And he supposedly had a really poor season. It's, really? It, yeah, he, he really did. It was, wow. like, it, it was either one less, it was around about the same figure. And this season, he's obviously This doesn't sound Kansas. like a stat to me. So. No, no, yeah. it, it sounds like a stat that I know is the case, but I can't <laughs> remember exactly how many years. Either way, he wasn't far off his best goal-scoring tally for a season. And he did, by his standards, play quite a poor season, but he was still influential. And I, I'm glad Paul has got some logic because he knows that Paul Pogba is going to win Player of the Year this year. I really just think he will. And he's, he's, he is... If he, do, if he is going to win it, he does need to score 15 goals. 
He will because score 15 goals. Unlike can take him play. 15 goals this year. Can take him play and and doesn't score goals and it's okay. It doesn't matter because you're not expecting that from him. Mm. That's why he is unique in that sense that you are expecting him to get to get goals. What's great and what might be different for him this season is Matic sitting there yeah, yeah. and allow. It seems like you've found a midfield now that can allow him to. Do everything. Which I mean, is it, what it, he's got. it wasn't even rocket science. It's like Matic is just operating in a role which is this new defensive midfield. It's not new. It's insurance, but, isn't it? Yeah, you, you need that player. Like Kante was the reason that Drinkwater was allowed to find Vardy with all his passes. Without him, he would have had to do the defensive work as well, which is what Pogba had to do last year. Picked up the ball too often in his own half, then had to run into the opposition half. Whereas you want him picking the ball up in the opposition half. That's where he's dangerous. It's naive, though, for us to... I feel like it's a little bit naive to say that it's, it's all good now because he, he hasn't played... He hasn't been tested by another midfield yet. You've absolutely dominated where, where, everything. If am I right in thinking his goals have come late in these games? The, 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 the United, have scored, yeah. United well. have scored late. Like We scored three in the last ten minutes I mean, that's against, a good sign. against Swansea. That, that is United. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean again, I'm, I'm not sure that's a, a criticism or what. I'm not sure if I've got a, a distinct point on it, but it's what you want to see is whether he's got the ability to, to win a game himself. You know what I mean? And he doesn't need to do that every week, you know, but the special talents turn up on the big occasions and do it. I think it'd be interesting to see when you guys go up against... Chelsea again, you know, you go yeah. up in the, in the go up in the go up in the in the league in a really truly competitive game, and when he it drops to him twenty five yards from goal and he smashes it in the top bin and wins it one nil, you go, there you go. But again, I would back him to have those moments this season because I just think he's he's prime for it. And he looks like you see, he's got he's got his little team of mates almost around him, having Lukaku there to G him on. It's the camaraderie that there seems to be. Yeah. They seem to be having fun playing footy as well, which yeah. you wouldn't expect from... I don't think a lot of fun's been had on the pitch at United for the last yeah, few seasons. That may, you're saying that. We have we have won plenty of titles. But I think with the United fans, Paul Scholes, is, we've seen the creme de la creme of what a midfielder can do and how he can control a game. And that's what United fans want to see from Paul Pubber. It's not just that 89th minute winner. It's the fact that for 89 minutes... He's been playing the game how he wants to play it, and he can, and has the ability to do it. And I think he will do that this year. I think Pop, but I think Paul's right. I think he's either going to win Player of the Year or at least be nominated for it. Hopefully, fifteen plus goals. But let me know what you think about Pop. But are you confident that this is going to be his season where he really announces himself back as one of the best central midfielders in the world? But this time in a Man United shirt. Thank you very much to James and to Paul for chatting about Paul Pop. here on Ball Street. And make sure you check out social clubs as always over on youtube.com forward slash Ball Street. I'll be on there talking about England if you're really slightly interested in that. But other than that, <laughs> take it easy and thank you both for joining me.